Every time we turn around, something new about the Tesla Cybertruck pops up, and it's typically a ridiculous news. But this time, we are totally stunned. Apparently, the Tesla Cybertruck is sold out until 2027. Yes, you've heard it right. If you truly want this electric truck, we hope you don't mind waiting. Ever since the Tesla Cybertruck emerged back in 2019. Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. Yeah! It's faced delay after delay. Recently, we learned that deliveries might not begin until the end of 2023. Then sources reported that the truck might be pushed back until 2024. However, according to the most recent news, now you might not get your Cybertruck until 2027. That's a ridiculous wait. Imagine what features and how much power rivals it will have by then. Incredulous, right? Hello folks and welcome to Dr. Elon Verse. It was announced that Tesla Cybertruck has been sold out till 2027, which has left the whole community in a state of shock. In today's video, we'll cover everything from the actual reasons behind this massive delay to new and exciting features that Elon Musk plans to introduce in the Tesla Cybertruck. Like 100 years, the trucks have been basically the same. We want to try something different. So I present to you the Cybertruck. So, without wasting any time, let's dive in right away. If you listen closely, you can hear the heartbeat of the Tesla Cybertruck. Somehow, this electric truck is clinging to life despite having a weak pulse. Elon Musk is still working on the Tesla Cybertruck, which could enter production soon. The Tesla CEO shared that there are enough Tesla Cybertruck reservations to fill three years of production. So despite being incredibly behind the competition, the Cybertruck still seems like a popular option. Initially, the production of the Tesla Cybertruck was slated to begin in 2021. However, then the ongoing coronavirus outbreak began, and a majority of automakers started facing delays. On top of that, supply chain disruptions and the ongoing semiconductor chip shortage started creating significant disruptions. But automakers like Ford figured out how to conserve their chips for their most popular models. The Ford Bronco and Ford F-150 Lightning are finally returning to standard production times. Did Elon Musk try to get the Cybertruck back on schedule, or did he focus on other models like the Tesla Model Y? At the Giga Texas plant, Elon Musk plans to manufacture half a million Tesla Model Y units annually. So, why is all of the emphasis on the Model Y instead of the Cybertruck that people have spent years waiting for? Reportedly, there are over 3 million Cybertruck reservations waiting in the wings. If Tesla actually starts producing 500,000 models per year, then the orders will take years to fill. The Gigafactory could increase production to 1 million units annually, though, you could point to difficulty finalizing the Tesla Cybertruck design as a reason for constant delays. There are a variety of production models that have been spotted with visual changes, but how long will attempting to get the new, better model take? Most probably years. So what are these changes that we can expect? Let's start from the beginning. Tesla officially launched the Cybertruck back in 2019. The Cyberpunk electric truck will be the most striking vehicle on the road. But we're still discussing it in the future tense because more than three years after its debut Tesla still has not launched the production version. Tesla's first target for starting Cybertruck production was fall 2021. That didn't happen. It then shifted to 2022, then 2023, and 2024, and now it seems like it may take many more years. Why you may ask? Maybe because Elon Musk hates Cybertruck, or he's in so much love that its design is still being improved. One thing is clear that Tesla has set the paradigm with its past launches of cool, high-performing electric cars. But the Cybertruck will be different from the Model 3 or the Model S. Tesla will be entering an established electric pickup market and facing off directly against some heavy hitters. Upstart EV manufacturer Rivian brought its R1T pickup to market last year the GMC Hummer EV SUT and Ford F-150 Lightning will be on the road in 2022. If Tesla delays the Cybertruck further, it's possible GM could have three electric trucks on the road before the Cybertruck arrives. Don't expect a dramatic aesthetic departure from the first version. It will still have the same angular, Blade Runner-inspired silhouette. Tesla will still build the exoskeleton from stainless steel and leave it unpainted. 
Pablo says it, 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 the, the fundamental design change, uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. We have also seen some practical tweaks come to the project. The latest prototype, for example, has conventional side mirrors, and Musk has suggested at various points the production Cybertruck may be smaller than the prototype, as it would be a tight fit in garages and boring tunnels. Tesla's initial Cybertruck plan included single, dual, and tri-motor versions. That plan has changed. Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that the first Cybertruck that launches now will use a quad-motor setup like the Rivian R1T. Also, Tesla says the Cybertruck will have an adaptive air suspension. In addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built, yeah, adaptive air suspension. So this will come standard on all the cars. The truck will be able to raise or lower four inches in either direction. It will also offer a self-leveling function. Musk also said the Cybertruck will offer four-wheel steering, this feature will allow the Cybertruck to crab walk diagonally like the Hummer EV SUT. More importantly, the rear wheels will be able to turn the opposite direction from the front wheels, allowing the Cybertruck to make tighter turns and like the Hummer be more maneuverable than it should be in tight spaces given its size. Recent Cybertruck prototypes show no physical door handles. Musk has said the doors will open automatically in the presence of the phone or key fob. It's not clear yet whether there will be some sort of physical override for emergencies. For the initial Cybertruck launch, Tesla built the Cyberquad, a quad bike ATV that could fit in the Cybertruck's bed. The initial plan was to sell it as an option with the Cybertruck. And that plan may still happen. For now, Tesla is selling a scaled-down Cyberquad for kids. It can accommodate riders 8-year-old and up who is under 150 pounds. The Cyberquad for kids has a 15-mile range and can hit a top speed of 10 mph. It's listed for $1,900 on Tesla's website, but it's currently out of stock. Tesla claims it'll go from 0 to 60 mph in 6.5 seconds and top out at 110 mph. The dual-motor Cybertruck will reportedly reach 60 mph in just 4.5 ticks and have a top speed of 120 mph. Those looking for the ultimate performance will appreciate the three-motor model, which Tesla says will essentially teleport from 0 to 60 mph in 2.9 seconds, with a top speed of 130 mph. While the vast majority of electric vehicles currently on sale feature 400-volt systems, the industry is quickly shifting towards 800-volt architectures and being led by the likes of the Porsche Taycan, Audi e-tron GT, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Kia EV6. While Tesla is an EV leader, all of its current models have 400-volt systems and are at risk of being left behind. After being quizzed about why Tesla hasn't gone down the 800-volt route on the company's recent quarterly earnings call with the media, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Andrew Baglino, said it doesn't make sense to ship smaller vehicles like the Model 3 and Model Y to 800 volts. Baglino acknowledged that a higher voltage platform does have advantages and could prove more beneficial for larger vehicles from the carmaker, such as the Cybertruck and Semi. Baglino's statement about the Cybertruck and Semi potentially adopting an 800 volt system is intriguing. For starters, it has been four and a half years since the semi was first unveiled and two and a half years since the Cybertruck was announced and one would have thought Tesla would have decided long ago whether to go down the 400-volt or 800-volt route with these models. But according to Baglino, it is something the automaker is considering. If that's true, Tesla had better decide quickly as volume production of both models is expected to start soon. We're wondering how much Elon Musk cares about the Tesla Cybertruck. He shared that if the futuristic truck fails, then he will launch a truck with more of a traditional style. Some people love the look, and others hate it. It's possible that by the time the Cybertruck eventually comes out, the design will feel outdated. Plus, Musk hates the design of the massive windshield wiper and can't seem to get something with a more subtle strategy to work. But if he doesn't care if the truck fails, then why does the wiper matter? Despite receiving criticism for pushing the Cybertruck back again, Tesla is working on issues with current vehicles. We will keep an eye on Cybertruck progress and hope it actually comes out one day. What about you? Are you still waiting for the Cybertruck or have you moved on? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching.